how do I explain this nonsense going on under my roof? Eh? How both of you no longer afraid of your father, the supreme king of this of this kingdom, Umunato community. So have I become that small to you? Um, calm down, Your Majesty. Calm down so that you will not have high blood pressure. What other high blood pressure is greater than what this uh, uh, artist called themselves my children are giving me? Uh, King of Kings. The lion is not supposed to raise its voice. Shouting the way you are doing right now demeans your authority as the king of Umunato Kingdom. My lord, pronounce your judgment right here and now. And I, he came back. The Ochiaga of this great kingdom will carry it out to the latter. Pronounce your judgment. Ikemba, you have to quench down His Majesty's anger. It has not gotten to this point. Besides, this is a family issue, a family affair. Any matter that demeans the fame of the king, the great king of this kingdom, Umunato, is no longer a family matter, but has become a personal matter. And I, he came back, we treat it as such. My king, I am still waiting for your instruction. Pronounce your judgment this very minute and I will carry it out to the latter. Just say it. Oh, it's all right, he came back. Your majesty, yes. are, are you sure you are okay? I am fine. Um, please, can you just excuse us? As it pleases you, my king. Now, Dubem, tell me, what solution do you have to put this madness to stop. Tell me. First of all, I'm sorry for all the stress this girl has really put you through. Excuse me? Is this you excluding yourself? Yo, shut up, girl. I'm still talking. Don't tell me to shut up. Don't do it. Are you older than me? Don't do it. Enough. Well, father, as I was saying, I have a plan. And that plan is simple. She will have to step down. Because I already engaged my girl before she met that idiot. You're a compound idiot. First class fool. Let me tell you something. I will not step down for you. Not in this life, not in another life. There she goes again, father. Calling me names. Do you remember I will call you whatever that I like? And you will not do anything. You will not do you replace it. You will not do anything, Dubem. You will not do anything. Yes. I said you will not do anything. What the fuck are you talking about? What is this now? Dubem. Dubem. I said you will not do anything. Dubem. 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 I descended so low to make sure you are happy. I do things that normally I cannot do for any man. But what did I get in return? You gave me the worst insult of my life just because I love and care about you. Don't worry, Obina. I have learned my lesson and in a very hard way. I will no longer bother you with my feelings again. But be rest assured that since you humiliated me, I will make sure that I do everything within and within my powers to make sure that, that your relationship with Naomi does not materialize. Instead of her defeating me in this game, I'd rather put you in a tight corner that you will hardly escape from. The sky is dark. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
more this is sign of danger Can't do what you can Except they agree oh, This is total war oh, This is total war mm, This is no more a joke No good in war Oh brother, oh boy Oh God, watch this fire Why is your face like that? Did anyone hurt you? <laughs> Father, you won't understand. Oh. Would you want? Talk to me. I'm your father. What is going on? Talk to me. What is it? Oh, Father. Father, this daughter of yours has been very foolish. Father, you remember you told me to be flocking with eagles. Father, I didn't listen to you. I went ahead and enhanced my relationship with chicks. Father, I have wandered far away. But right now, I am back home. Yes, Father. I'm still confused. What's the sense of all this confession? Father. Father, what is paramount now is that I am ready to flock with eagles. And I'm ready to help you achieve whatsoever aim that you want to. Well, in that case, you have been forgiven. Come to me. Come to my bosom. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I'm so happy. So? Now tell me, Father, mm. what is this great plan of yours? Well, um... Since we are now on the same page, okay. let me reveal it to you. I wish to become the king of this kingdom. Huh? Yes. And you, the princess. Ha! <laughs> I can't believe this. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe I have been so ignorant of this your wonderful plan because of my stupidity. Ha! Father, you know what? I don't need to ask you how. Because I trust you. You are smart. You're my father, of course. I believe you. Father, all you need to do is to tell me the character you have scripted for me in this episode of yours. Obina. I know it's shocking for you to see me in your compound today. But not to worry. I'm here in peace. I actually came in respect to the fracas between you and the prince. Chief Ibe, if the royal family have asked you to come here to bargain with me, let them know that I am not interested. <laughs> Obina, do I look like a puppet to you? I actually came to see you because I share the same opinion with you. What a opinion do you share with me? What are you talking about? Obina, I know that the throne has been unfair to you. Now, look at it from this perspective. The prince has everything at his disposal. Just like the story of David and Uriah in the Bible. But the prince does not want you to have anything that you should desire in this kingdom. What do you think that I desire? Obina, I'm an ambitious man. Scratch my back, I scratch yours. Chifibe, I want you to cut to the chase and tell me exactly what you want from me. I have 
have been watching this drama from afar off. But, you see, a sensible elderly person cannot be home and watch a she go to deliver in tetas. I will be the last person to see you cheated. Eche, thank you very much. Obviously, you're the only one on my side. Oh, my prince, Devin, don't mention. What? What am I for? If not to support you. As a matter of fact, I have spoken to your father privately, but his reply was not encouraging. He kept saying, uh, one of them will step down, one of them will step down. But it is not over. I can't believe my father cannot sanction a decree in my favor. Uh, my prince. You see, there comes a time in the life of a man hmm, that he has to jettison the advices from his parents. Even right there in the Holy Book, it is there. Right there. It says that, therefore, a man should leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. The Holy Book never said, follow your parents. No. My prince, my advice is fight for the love of your life. Hmm? It is it is demanding that a common a commoner a common commoner should be contesting with you, the prince of this kingdom. No, it is not fair. Thank you very much, Iche, for rejuvenating my strength. I truly appreciate this. You are welcome, my prince. Any day, any time. Ichi Rondo will always stand there for you. Come read, come son. <laughs> I will make you happy for this. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. All right then. Bye bye. Okay. Then. <clears throat> Cheesy girl. My princess. Are you sure that all that you have told me is actually going to work? My princess. Yes. You mean that all this that I, Ichi Ezekiel, has been telling you, you are doubting it? A whole me, a member of the Igwe in council, you are doubting what I told you. Ichi, uh... I didn't say so. I'm only asking because I do not want to make any mistakes. And I'm just trying to be careful, that's it. Um, my princess, yes. you see, all that I have told you, don't add, don't reduce. Just do it the way I told you. And it will work out perfectly well. I mean, perfectly well. Hmm? Mm. Wow. Wow, I like this. Mm. It's really interesting. Eche, thank you very much. Thank mm. you. Um, Eche, give me your card number. I I want to reward you. Huh? Call your card number for me. My princess, did I hear you say you want to reward me? Eche, just give me your card number. I was even thinking that uh, these drinks and the uh, meat, that it's enough reward. But never bless. <laughs> I'll give you. Right, I'll give you. Um, it's your um, six, two, six two three four three four zero nine zero nine five seven eight three. What bank? Standard bank. Standard. Ah. <laughs> Okay, Iche, I just uh, sent you something. Just mm. manage it. It's called um, Thanks for Coming. Ah, thank you very much, you my welcome. princess. Thank you very much. Thank you, welcome. <laughs> it has entered. 200,000. My princess. 200. Hey! My princess, you know what? I'm with you now. 
from now onwards, count me in. Wherever you go, whenever, call on me, it's okay. and I'll be there. It's okay. Thank you very much, my You're princess. Welcome. You are the only person I know. <laughs> in this life, eh, one needs to trust his chi. Yeah, Madame Ifoma. Why are you acting like you've won the uh, battle? Ifoma is just a little dispute, so don't get too excited. My problem with you girls is that your timidity cannot be quantified. If only your myopic eyes can be open to see what's my pipeline, you will know I'm already the winner. Mm. <laughs> what are you talking about, Ifoma? Ifoma, what do you have up your sleeves? Eh? One don't need to pinch a parcel that will obviously be open. <laughs> mm. You needed to see her. Eh? You needed to see how she was concurring to my deceptive strategies. <laughs> <laughs> Out of excitement, she asked for my account number. Okay. I thought it was a joke. I gave it to her. Mm. Guess what? Mm -hmm. She transferred 200,000 into my bank account. 200,000? <laughs> and she called it, thanks for coming. Is it okay? You sent some into my account. Uh, don't go there, don't go there. You see, as for the other idiot, hmm? I did not know that he is planning to rule this great kingdom without his chicken brain. Eh? I told him to forget about advices from his parents and fight for love. Yes. He was busy nodding his head like an agama lizard. <laughs> eh? Not knowing that he was not even thinking anything. But Thanks to the gods of our land, mm -hmm. eh, that we have someone like you, our great master. <laughs> yes. um, nice one, everybody. You see, um, as expected, mm. Obina refused to work with us. Huh? But nothing to worry about. Everyone has a prize. Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. There's nothing to worry about. I, I cannot believe it that someone turned you down. I mean, that Obina turned you down. It's like you went, you went soft on him. Truth be told, mm. if not that someone existed, mm. that young man deserved to wear the crown of this kingdom. Mm. He is smart, intelligent, but I am 100% ahead of everyone. You can say that again. <laughs> we trust you. So, we know what you can do. Yeah. So, um, like I said, there's no cause for alarm. I have a way of bringing him over to work with us. Oh, we trust you. We know your capabilities. <laughs> yeah. One more thing. Mm. My daughter has just joined the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Wow! Yes. She will now act as our informant. <laughs> Is it good? Yes. That this is great news. Great news, the greatest, greatest of all. This is great news. Great news. Yes. Ah, yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? <laughs> hey! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. What my daughter can do. Oh, I like, like father, father, like, like daughter. Ujumwam, my chief informant. <laughs> the only lady in the league of extraordinary gentlemen. <laughs> um, we waited for you to celebrate with us, but you were not forthcoming. We put calls through to you. You were not even taking your calls. Father, I am so sorry. You know, when you enter a critical scene, mm -hmm. you have to be extremely careful. Sure. Well, I was busy igniting the heat in Ruth, pushing her to deal with her brother properly. Mm -hmm. That's what I was doing. And? Ah, you know, she's, she's, she's a big fool. She did exactly what I asked her to do. <laughs> you see, a dragon does not give birth to anything that does not spit fire. 
anything for you, Father. I can always count on you. Of course, Father, you can. I'm just, your daughter. Just keep up the good work. Anything <laughs> for you, Father. Uh, one more thing. Whenever you're visiting that house, make sure you go with your phone. Okay. Yes. In case you see anything that will be beneficial to our plans, you just secretly record them. So long as it's going to help us to get what we're looking for. Father, <laughs> Father, ah, mm -hmm. I see you is beating that's your smartness. Mm. Don't worry, Father, I will do just that. It's okay. I'm always following your lead, of course. Mm. <laughs> like daughter, like father. Exactly. That's why they call me the game master. <laughs> <laughs> master! <laughs> yes. Wow. Um, Kill a general, you must attack his house. In other words, to hit Dubim, I must attack his source of happiness. <laughs> That which this game is being played seems to be an easy move. It is time to press the hard call button. What are you trying to say, Chief Yondo? Your Majesty, what I'm saying is that a mere commoner. A mere commoner is contending with your son, the prince and the heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom, and you are doing nothing about it. And uh, what do you advise her do? Oh, your majesty is very, is very simple. Very, very simple. He's an average man. An average commoner for that matter. The mere mention of 10 million, 15 million, 20 million will freeze him. He will instantly forget about the thought of getting married to your daughter without thinking. That's all. It's a rondo. Are you trying to tarnish the image of the king? What's the meaning of that question, Neoshaga? You and I know that tradition forbids the king of kings from getting involved with bribery. State your mission. State your mission before I deploy the king's offer into action. I believe you know what that means. Achiaga, we are only trying to profess solution to the king. Besides, Nothing discussed here will go outside there, except you go out there and spill. It's okay, it's okay. I mean, this is uh, 
peaceful meeting. And um, we must aid our king. Your Majesty, this matter already is getting out of hand. And if you don't do anything, Your Majesty, and allow this fight to continue, you might lose the image you are fighting so hard to protect. Your Majesty, I'm of the opinion you get that boy arrested. Arrest him and lock him up. It's either you lock him in a police cell or in the royal dungeon. Then you plan a royal wedding for the prince of our kingdom. Um, at times, I wonder if you elders spill all this nonsense deliberately. Have you all forgotten that that boy you advised to be locked up is the only surviving family member of that girl in question? Have you forgotten? And now you want to demean the royal household by bringing a bride that her bride price was not paid into this palace? Huh? Chief Ibe, it's quite unlike you to keep quiet in a, in a discussion like this. Your Majesty, critical situation required critical thinking. That's what I say. <laughs>